Well, Vancouver will soon be adding 12 new mobile restaurants to help feed its growing appetite for street cuisine. The newest options will spice up the competition by bringing more diversity to the food cart program. Binder Sudgeon joins us. And uh, Binder, where and when can we expect to see these new street eats? Well, Mike, starting May 1st, all of the trucks will start operating here in the downtown core. And a taste of what's on the menu might leave you feeling like you're in a different world. Sarb Mund hopes tiffin boxes will soon become a Vancouver lunchtime ritual. We're going to have people come pick up their food, basically just have it laid out as a buffet. The food truck owner hopes to soon sell the containers and create a North American twist on a South Asian tradition. In this kitchen, corn tortilla stuffed with beans, pork and cheese are a doorway to a Central American culture. We actually want people to experience the uh, El Salvador through the food. The global cuisine, some of the newest food trucks coming to a curb near you. Good. With your elbow out, make sure the juice doesn't drip all over you. This year, 59 businesses applied for 12 available licenses. Originally started in 2010 as an experiment, these street eats are now here to stay. Hello, mm. Despite concerns voiced by steamed restaurant owners worried about their bottom line. So far, uh, any kinks uh, have been worked out over these past couple years related to the siting and, and potential competition. The mayor says the city is now being asked to provide advice to other cities following suit. We're from Calgary, and they just started in Calgary, but they're fantastic. It's not just hot dogs and hamburgers. Mm. The new options coming in May will bring the number of food trucks in the city to 103, nearly all operating downtown. Each person is doing a different thing, and it's great having everybody on the street. I mean, it's, we, uh, we love the competition. It's great. So far, only one vendor has shut down. Coma Food Truck closed earlier this month. Despite that, in this city of foodies... Delicious. Really, really good. Super fresh. The program and the curbside cuisine are getting rave reviews. Looks tasty. Now I'm hungry, Binder. Uh, does that, any uh, money, the city get any money from the food cart program? Well, they sure do. The mayor says that each food truck operator pays about $1,000 per year for a license and could pay thousands more in parking costs. Now, the city is also introducing a pilot project for three city parks, and so those parks will soon see uh, some food truck operators there. Those licenses are expected to bring in about $30,000. All of that money earmarked for the park board. Final selections are expected to be announced in the coming weeks. Mike? Look forward to that. Thanks very much, Binder.